Hey guys, Jerry from Chase Bait and Tackle. We're always wanting to bring you what's new. Uh, so Jeff Green with Shallow Water Fishing Adventures. Uh, he's the guide that you saw on the Fishing the DMV. Uh, here in the back, we did a little river guide seminar. He's got an online store. You can find these tubes that he's making uh, in two places. You can find them on his online store, or you can find them here at Jake's Bait and Tackle, or on Jake's online store. This is a two and three quarter inch tube. The tube is one of the top river uh, baits uh, year round, but especially in the winter and early spring. Uh, he's got different colors here in a smoke purple, green pumpkin, purple crawdad. Notice that's a lighter tint purple. Green pumpkin, dark purple, a little bit darker purple tail there. Green pumpkin and then a watermelon brown right here, a little bit darker color. Uh, get these SWFA baits uh, on his uh, online store jake's bait and tackle online or stop into jake's and you can find these two hey everyone jeff green shallow water fishing adventures uh today i'm going to bring you a um, how-to video on changing your aerator pump on your jet boat right here we've got an atwood aerator 500 i mean this thing's got some years on it it just shut off one day recently on a trip hasn't come back on yet so i'm going to replace it with a uh, johnson aerator pump that pumps right here you can see right here the hole in the back of the transom where that uh, Johnson pumps gonna go you see all the dirt and debris this is what happens over time and this should be cleaned out a lot more often that uh, hole that's drilled drilled out in the um, transom, that's going to have to be cleaned. I don't know if you can see it real well. It's got a lot of old silicone. That'll cause a leak when you go to put this uh, pump back in. Here's how much stuff I've collected that was in here. Uh, meaning like mud, dirt, or whatever else is in here. And there's some silicone mixed in. You gotta clean all this stuff out. Use a shop vac, suck it out, and um, get it as clean as you can. Here are the wires that I'm talking about. You got a black one right here on the left and a brown one right here on the right. The brown one's the uh, power wire, black one's the neutral. So here you go, here's what it looks like. I've, I've cleaned it out best I could without running water through it. It's a lot cleaner than it was, um, but I have cleaned around the um, hole for the uh, pump. I've cleaned around that very well. That's where that rubber washer is going to go, and then I'm going to put another rubber washer on the outside, and that should seal it completely. What I'm going to use to uh, seal this pump off are two rubber gaskets. One on the um, outside and one on the inside. You're not going to need silicone for a job like this. This is a lot cleaner. There you go. I just put the aerator pump in. There's your um, power wires. So this one right here, here's the brown wire. And here's a black wire. And the pump's in there right now, but it's, it's, not, um, it's not tightened down. But that's what it looks like. It was supposed to be a 90 degree pump. But I realized once I got it home that I can't sit it up 90 degrees. So I have to turn it to its side a little bit. All right, here we go. The um, plumbing has been hooked up. You can see the hose right there. I just used the same hose. And a uh, stainless steel hose clamp. So now let's work on the electric which should be easy. Uh, you only have two wires. The brown to the brown, the black to the black. Here we go, here I have the uh, wires attached. Now I'm going to uh, heat those connectors up and melt them. Here's what the finished product looks like. Once I just got the uh, wires organized and I just zip tied them to the, uh, the hose. This is a 750 gallon per hour pump, uh, aerator pump. 
So here's what the back of the transom looks like once you have it mounted inside the boat, inside the hull. You're gonna have to cut this uh, threaded pipe right here. It's just plastic. Make sure that that um, outside nut, bulkhead, whatever you wanna call it, is snug. You don't need to tighten it down too much or you'll crack, you'll, uh, you'll crack it. All right, everyone, here's the um, back side of the transom, the water side of it. And uh, here's the screen. And this is what it looks like, or this is what it should look like. If you have any questions about how to install, uh, where to buy them, contact SWFA Bates. Ask for Jeff. Um, I can get the uh, pumps. I can order them if you need them. Let me know. SWFA Bates. SWFABaitTackle.com.